Genesis chapter 15, verse 8, continuing. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? Notes, Abraham asked two questions. What will you give me, and whereby shall I know? Christ is the answer to the first question, the covenant to the second. And he who was the Lord said to Abraham, Take me an ephor, a heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Notes, the covenant is founded on grace, for five living creatures are sacrificed to establish it. Five in the scripture is the number of grace, and these five sacrifices set out the fulfillment of the great sacrifice of Calvary. The heifer symbolized uh, the priestly office of Christ. The she-goat symbolized his prophetic office. The ram symbolized his kingly office. Jesus was the priest, the prophet, and king. The turtle dove symbolized him being led and guided strictly by the Holy Spirit, while the young pigeon symbolized him obeying the Spirit in every single capacity. And Abraham took unto him all these and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against the other. But the birds divided he not. Notes, the dividing of the three larger animals in sacrifice, which uh, means their bodies were literally cut in two pieces, with one piece on one side and the other piece on the other, signified the terrible depth of sin which the cross alone could answer. Scripture, And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Notes, these fowls represent the op opposition to the cross by demon spirits. Note, or a scripture, Abram drove them away. Notes, in the name of Jesus we have power over demon spirits, and as Abraham we must drive them away. Verse 12, And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. Notes, represents the sufferings which would come to God's people, Israel, and as well to God's people presently. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that your seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Notes, the four hundred years pertain to the time from the meaning of uh, from the weaning of Isaac to the deliverance of the children of Israel from Egyptian bondage. The time frame covered the time between uh, spent both in Canaan before it belonged to them and Egypt as well. It spanned four, 400 years. Uh, verse 14, And also the nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and of course this is referring to Egypt, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Notes, much gold and silver and other such things given to them by the Egyptians when they left. That will be confirmed in Exodus chapter 11, verse 1 through 3 and several other times throughout the book. Verse 15, and you shall go to your fathers in peace. Notes, while Abraham would not see that, uh, while Abraham would not see that coming time, nevertheless it did come. The word peace proclaims the fact that what God had called him to do, he will have done. Scripture, you shall be buried in a good old age. Notes, he was 175 years old when he died. Verse 16, but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again. Notes, the count began when the sons of Jacob were born. The first generation began with Levi the second with Kohath, the third being Amram, and the fourth generation being Moses. Moses would lead them out of Egyptian bondage. Scripture, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Notes, as the book of Job teaches, Job's friends were among, were wrong when they uh, thought that God immediately brings judgment on sinners. In fact, he is patient and long-suffering. However, he is also just, and the judgment will eventually come if there is no repentance, even as it did on the Amorites. 
God would have gladly accepted him, but uh, instead they chose to bring suffering. Verse 17. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, notes, represents the state of this world now filled with sin. Scripture, behold, a smoking furnace. Notes, proclaims the furnace of affliction that Israel will have to pass through and in fact every single believer a very painful experience scripture and a burning lamp that passes between those pieces notes the burning lamp passed between the pieces of the sacrifice and proclaims the word of God this presents the biblical authority of the cross uh, of the cross which the sacrifices actually represent verse 18 in the, in the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto your seed have I given this land. Notes. Promises based on the precious blood of Christ are so absolutely sure that faith can claim them as already possessed. Hence, the believer in the Lord Jesus Christ is neither ashamed nor afraid to say, I am saved. Scripture. From the, uh, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Notes. <clears throat> the actual area promised uh, by God to Abraham goes all the way to the Nile River in Egypt, which includes the Sinai, the Arab Peninsula, much of modern Iraq, most of Syria, and all of Lebanon. Uh, the current state of Israel as of right now, it is about a hundred times smaller uh, due to people dividing the land and we'll get to that much much later verse 19 the Kenites and the Kenizzites and the Cad, uh, Cadmonites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Rephames and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Girgashites and the Jebusites notes ten nations are listed here nations which are um, which occupied the land of Canaan Ten is the number of completeness in the Bible and indicates that the entirety of the land, which would also include other tribes, would be given to Abraham's descendants. In other words, they're going to get dealt with. We will begin at chapter 16. Thank you for your...